It was sitting in a drawer in my father's study, and one day I just pulled open the drawer, and I found the manuscript, and it all came rushing back to me. Rob Schwartz has unearthed a forgotten treasure, words of wisdom once tucked away by his late father, Maury Schwartz. When a person is dying, when I am dying, I don't only have to be taking, I can also be giving. Maury became one of Nightline's most memorable subjects. This is a Nightline Friday Night Special. Featured in Ted Koppel's Friday Night Specials, his musings on the meaning of life left a lasting impact. And why, by the end of the night, are so many of you going to care about him? Because I think I have some things to offer the world. This was the first of three conversations between Koppel and Maury, a retired sociology professor from Massachusetts who was dying of ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. Some mornings I'm angry and bitter, but it doesn't last too long. Then I get up and say, I want to live. Over the course of several months, we watched and listened as a man who was nearing the end of his life taught all of us how to live. This culture is so stuck on death in terms of its fear, hiding it, not knowing what to do with it, that what I'm saying is, is an alternative way of looking at it. When you're dead, you're dead a long time. I'm not in a hurry. But I'm going to live as fully as I can while I'm here, as vitally as I can, and as lovingly really as I can. One of those viewers was Mitch Albom. Yes, that Mitch Albom. The author, a former student of Maury's, began visiting his old professor every Tuesday until Maury died in November 1995. Albom reflected on Maury's life during Ted Koppel's final time in the Nightline anchor chair. If you were to synthesize Maury's message in a line or two, it would be what? Death ends a life, but not a relationship. Maury didn't live to see the success of Tuesdays with Maury. The best-selling memoir about those visits has sold more than 18 million copies and counting, and was adapted into an Emmy-winning TV movie in 1999. If we accept the fact that we can die at any time, we lead our lives differently. And now, the man whose outlook continues to inspire so many is back with a new book, the Wisdom of Maury, an original manuscript written by Maury himself before he became ill. He started in 1988 and he finished it in 1992. It was really his, his thoughts about life and really in-depth dive into how he wanted to approach aging. He thought it could be helpful for other people to approach aging and just in general living creatively, vibrantly and joyously. Rob Schwartz accidentally found the manuscript in the early 2000s. It was kind of stunning to me to find this manuscript and r realize that it had never been published. As you first went through it, what went through your mind? I just hear my father's voice in this book. It's so filled with his love of life and his love of people and his connection to humanity. You describe this as a bookend to Tuesdays with Maury. What does that mean? Tuesdays with Maury is a beautiful book, but it's a very slim volume. It's like an introduction to my father's thought. And, you know, he was a professor of sociology and social psychology, so he has a lot to say about what it means to be human and how we can improve our lives. But is it fair to summarize his philosophy in two words? stay human. Yeah, I think it is. The problem with this world is we objectify other people, like that person's not like me, they don't believe what I believe, and that, that's, you know, not the way to go about it. We all have a shared humanity that is the crucial thing that you need to, to connect with. Or in Maury's own words, Take responsibility for yourself and for all of us. If we learn that lesson, this world would be so much better place. What would the human Maury think of all this attention? It's really funny, because the unexpected answer is he would love it. He would <laughs> adore it. He was actually a ham. He would be so happy that not only his ideas are getting some attention, but that people think it's worthwhile to pay attention to him. Your father once told uh, an interviewer that he wanted his obituary to remember him as a great teacher. Yes. He succeeded, didn't he? I think so. I think so. And, you know, I hope this book continues that teaching. The disease is not going to get my spirit. It's going to get my body. It's not going to get my spirit.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.